It's time for episode two of What in the Box from Hobby Link Japan. A little series I do now and then, and by series I mean this is the second episode, so it's not really a series until, you know, I've made a couple, but of basically things I ordered from Japan and I opened them up on camera to show you guys, because why not, I guess, to boost my massive views. And, you know, I don't see many of these things. They're whole videos, basically, they're hauls. Um, and as you can tell from the front here, this is indeed from Hobby Link Japan. Uh, and we are joined today, not by Shroomish or my Gorgeist plushie, but from a Toad plushie that I found randomly somewhere that I bought a few years ago, I guess. Anyway, that's not the point. Let us open up this thing. Now, there may be a slightly special item in this as well. Along with the things that I've ordered, there was a limited run thing where if you ordered it around Christmas, you got a special Hobby Link Japan file. Indeed, I have their 20th anniversary file here because I happened to be ordering uh, around the summertime and this is what they sent me. It's a genuinely quite nice file. I don't use these because they're really thin. Um, and as you can tell, you know, if you put too many things in this, it'll just be warped at one side. And I don't know, I don't really understand these type of files, but whatever. So, let's jump into this. Okay, I am back. As you can see, I have opened it up. I just took a peek and I'm already incredibly excited. So, as with the last one, I'm just going to pull stuff out and tell you about them. Actually, I've just realised that's going to be a lot more difficult than I anticipated. So, I'm going to do it off screen and then show you these things. First up, we have Common Rider Ghost, uh, the SH Fig Arts version, or Odamashi, uh, as you can see there. Now, a uh, fun thing about this, some of you may be thinking, oh man, you like Common Rider, you've never mentioned that on your channel before. It's because I've never watched it, ever. I, I ha plan on watching it, but I've never actually watched it. However, I have had my eye on this figure for quite a while, because his design is really, really cool. I... I can't put my finger exactly on what it is, but I don't know, everything about him is really cool. He's got like a cool hoodie, his colour design's really cool, he's just generally a cool looking figure. So I decided to pick him up because he was like £13 or this amount of US dollars. And, you know, having more figures is never a bad thing, unless you run out, which I did a few years ago, but hey, then you just rotate your collection out. But yeah, so I think Odamashi is either the series name, uh, as in the Kamen Rider series of SH Figart's name, or it's his name? I don't know. I do plan on watching Ghost eventually, because uh, it's the one I've most wanted to see. Along with Game, which is the fruit one, I think. And there's a video game one as well, I can't remember. But anyway, really small box, actually. It's, uh, it's quite cute. And, as I mentioned, quite cheap. Now, I'm also going to show you the Christmas file that came along with it. That is this. Happy Holidays from Hobby Link Japan 2017. We've got some, you know, nice little uh, trees and snowmen. And up top, we've got the Hobby Link Japan old man uh, Daruma kind of thing. And some gingerbread houses. No, those are just, well, they look like gingerbread trees, but they're not. And some houses. And on the back we have Hobby Link Japan and Mount Fuji all happy and stuff wearing a scarf. And another snowman. Uh, no Japanese on this one, actually. Not that I particularly mind, but being as they're, you know, releasing it from Japan, they could have written Merry Kurisumas or something. Uh, but yeah, and as with the other one, the inside is, you know, blank and quite thin or whatever. But there we are, I'm apparently starting a collection of these. And my final thing, and the thing I am most excited about. I've got a bit of a story to this one as well. Uh, I'm going to have to move it back, actually. Hang on. I'm going to move the box over here. And that. Oh, gee, I still can't get it in. Hang on. This is the Omegamon reboot. It's a model kit of Omegamon from Digimon. And something that, honestly, I've been waiting about half a year for. I ordered this thing sometime in August or September, uh, and they told me that it was back ordered for four to six weeks. However, I didn't get the notice that it was in stock until December. 
Now, you know, that obviously that is very first world problems. The fact they ever even had any of these is fantastic. And the fact it was quite cheap as well. It was like £30 or this amount of dollars. It was incredible, but as we can see from the side here, it is a fully posable Omnimon or Omegamon, however you want to, um, whatever you want to call him. And oh, he's just, well, this has been a figure I've wanted for quite a while now. There are some Omegamon figures on the market, but they do cost quite a bit of money because they're quite old now. In fact, this kit is from like 2012 or something. So I'm going to open the lid up very quickly just to show you guys. As you can see, it does come in a lot of pieces. Now, this is basically like a gunpla kit, but I think this is more resin or something. I can't remember exactly. I do hear that there's a bit of painting involved if wanting to look good, which I'm happy to do. So, that is the contents of my box from Japan for January the 2nd, 2018. Well, this is my first video of 2018. And what an absolutely average amount of content it had. Uh, yeah, if you want to, I don't know, see more videos in the future, they don't have to be like this. I make a lot of different videos. Not very consistently, but I make them anyway. If you would like to do that, then maybe subscribe. Here's an extra video uh, randomly chosen for you. And here's a playlist of Oyatsu box openings, which is like a snack box thing from Japan. But yeah, so, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.